Hi everyone, welcome to Mindful Crafts and More. I am Katrina. If this is your first time coming to my channel, take a look at this video and others. And if you are inspired, then consider subscribing. Don't forget to hit the like button before you do so though. If you are returning, welcome back. I really appreciate you for hanging out with me for a bit. So guys, I just wanted to do a quick video just to touch base with you to let you know I am doing just fine. Um, I do have some minor shoulder discomfort, but other than that, no symptoms whatsoever. Okay. Now, I do have uh, a quick thing that I would like to show you and then I will start working on it. And I'm going to show you a little bit of the progress that I have done with my temperature project. Okay, so let's do the unboxing first. So a few months back, I did um, start the Annie's Caring Crochet Club. And I thought it was a really good idea because you get a chance to make things and then perhaps donate them. So I went ahead and subscribed and I have a few that I still have yet to show you, but I'm going to go with the one that I just recently got in the mail. All right. So it came very nicely uh, packaged in a very nice flowery um, container um, pouch. Um, I really, really like how it's beautiful flowers and whatnot. And inside, I'm just taking a look at it. So I did open it, but I didn't really look at it to see what it was. All right, so I'm going to open it more. Oh, this is very nice. Wow. Okay, so I get uh, four skeins of yarn, it looks like, in different colors. So it looks like I'm going to do something in the palette of purple. And I really do like um, purple items. So this is really, really pretty. So let's see. All right, so the name of it is Lacy Shells Wrap. So it's going to be a wrap. And I think it's for a charity. So let me open it up and let me see, you know, who it's actually for. Okay. Give me just a second, guys. Okay. So the yarn is very, very nice. It's 100% acrylic and they give us three ounces, which is 165 yards of each of the different skeins in different colors. I don't see a number or a name for the colors that are, lit, that are here, um, but they really are beautiful, um, beautiful colors and it's nice and soft. So I think it's gonna give a nice drape um, to the item. Okay. So it looks like it is to the Cancer Support Community of Central Ohio is where they're recommending that this gets uh, donated to. All right. And it's a beautiful um, lacy crocheted um, wrap or shawl. And wow, very, very nice. So I'm just going to read what's on the back for the charity. Um, it says Cancer Support Community Central Ohio is a national nonprofit organization dedicated to ensuring that all people affected by cancer are empowered by knowledge strengthened by action and sustained by community. The organization's programs and services are offered to all those affected by cancer, patients, families, children, friends, coworkers, and caregivers. And Cancer Support Community Central Ohio does it at no cost to them, so no one faces cancer alone. Oh, wow, that's wonderful. Um, please share the gift of hope with all survivors of cancer, their loved ones, and caregivers who find strength and support through Cancer Support Community Central Ohio. Your donation will directly benefit those touched by cancer in Central Ohio who turn to the organization for education, courage, and hope. And they give you um, the address and everything um, to send it to. And, and a very nice pattern, which looks to be pretty easy. 
let's see, the skill level, it says intermediate. So it shouldn't be um, too hard or too difficult to do. So very, very beautiful. And I will show you guys the finished object once I get it done. Okay. So very nice. So the next thing I wanted to show you guys is the progress that I have made on my temperature project. All right, you wanna take a look? Okay, again, the project that I, I have chosen is to do the Bohemian temperature wrap um, shawl, okay? And I chose wool like yarn and these are the colors that I chose and these are my temperature ranges. So what I did here was I filled in the temperatures all the way through the 25th. I made an error here. So I'm gonna have to use a little bit of correction fluid to do this one because tomorrow is actually the 26th. Now I worked my pattern all the way up until here where you see I changed the colors of my ink. So I worked it all the way up through row uh, 19 and I still have one week's worth of work to do and it's just been really busy. So I haven't gotten to that yet, but I wanna show you so that you can see the progress that I have made up through row 19. And then in another video, I can go um, a little bit further. I think it's enough for you guys to be able to see it right now. All right. Okay, so here we have the temperature wrap. It is working up very, very nicely. And if you can see very closely, even though these are very small stitches, you should be able to see the linen stitch being formed in, uh, in the pattern. And I do think it's very, very pretty. Um, the shawl is gonna be nice and light and drapey. All right, because the wool like yarn is actually a category one uh, super fine um, yarn. I am using a size D hook, which is a 3.5 um, millimeter hook. Let's see if I can. Yeah, 3.5 millimeter hook. All right. Um, and it, very, very easy to work with. I'm just using a single strand. And I think that this is gonna turn out to be very, very pretty uh, when I am done. All right, so how have you guys been doing with your temperature project? Have you had a chance to start yet? Have you found your yarns? Has there been any challenge with figuring out your temperature ranges? Let me know how you are doing. I am interested in seeing what progress you have made. If you have any questions, please do me a favor and uh, leave a comment so that I can perhaps um, either uh, do a little bit of research to find the answer or just kind of help you out if it's a challenge maybe that I also had in trying to work mine. All right, now the last thing is uh, what am I wearing? I didn't say it earlier, but um, I don't think that I've shown you um, these items before. So um, this this is a mesh hat that I made uh, quite a while ago, and I made it to go with this poncho here. Um, and the poncho, I think, is something that maybe could be worn during the summertime. Um, and um, I do like it, I love it, um, but it's kind of cold outside right now. So I just put it on the mannequin so you guys could see it. Let me know um, if you like it. It is a very easy um, pattern to do and it works out pretty fast as well. All right, so that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys are doing well and working on your temperature projects. Um, let me know how things are going. And I hope to talk to you guys real soon. Bye-bye.